There is a long list of reasons to buy NVIDIA stock, but investors shouldn't ignore the potential headwinds that could be ahead. NVIDIA, NVDA 3.89%, was a $360 billion company at the start of 2023, but thanks to a whopping 745% gain in its stock price, the company is now worth over $3 trillion. It's experiencing a surge in demand for its data center chips, which are the most powerful in the industry for processing artificial intelligence, AI, workloads. In June, NVIDIA stock was trading at over $1,200 per share, which made it somewhat inaccessible to smaller investors. So management executed a 10 for one stock split effective June 10th. The split increased the number of shares in circulation tenfold and organically shrank the price per share by 90%. It hasn't changed the underlying value of the company, but investors can now buy one share of NVIDIA for just $123, as of this writing. Stocks can sometimes get a boost after they split as a broader investor base swoops in to buy, but that alone isn't a good reason to pile into NVIDIA. Investors should focus on the company's fundamentals instead, and here are two great reasons to buy the stock. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. One, rapid revenue and earnings growth. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang estimates there will be around $1 trillion in spending on data centers over the next five years as operators try to meet demand for computing capacity from AI developers. NVIDIA's H100 graphics processing unit, GPU, set the standard for AI chips. And as a result, the company has a market share of more than 90% in the segment. That allows NVIDIA to charge a premium for its chips, which is driving incredible growth in its revenue and earnings. In the recent fiscal 2025 Q1, ended April 28, the company generated a record $22.6 billion in data center revenue alone, which was a 427% increase from the year-ago period. It marked the fourth consecutive quarter of triple-digit percentage growth in the data center segment. NVIDIA's Q1 earnings per share soared 461% to 6.12 as the company's gross profit margin continued to climb, reaching 78.9%. Three years ago, before the AI boom started and gaming was NVIDIA's largest segment, its gross profit margin was around 66%. That highlights just how profitable the company's data center GPUs are, thanks in part to its pricing power. Two, despite blistering gains, NVIDIA stock still might be cheap. As I mentioned, NVIDIA stock is up 745% since the start of 2023, but it might still be cheap, at least by the widely used price-to-earnings PE ratio, which divides a company's share price by one year's worth of its earnings per share. Investors often use that metric to measure the value of a stock relative to the rest of the market. NVIDIA generated 180 in earnings per share over the last four quarters, adjusted for the stock split, and based on its stock price of 123.54, at the time of this writing, it trades at a P.E. ratio of 68.6. That's more than double the 31.9 P.E. ratio of the NASDAQ 100 index, implying NVIDIA is extremely expensive relative to its peers in the tech sector. However, investors are willing to pay a premium for NVIDIA because its earnings are rapidly catching up to its surging stock price. For example, Wall Street analysts predict NVIDIA will generate $2.72 in earnings per share for the fiscal 2025 full year, giving the stock a forward P.E. ratio of 45.4. They also forecast $3.74 in earnings during fiscal 2026, translating into a forward P.E. ratio of 33. In other words, NVIDIA shares don't look very expensive relative to the NASDAQ 100 as long as investors are willing to hold on to them for at least the next two years. Of course, there is a risk Wall Street is overestimating NVIDIA's earnings potential, in which case the stock is more expensive than it currently appears. Further upside in NVIDIA stock isn't a given. Last year, Goldman Sachs released a report suggesting generative AI could add $7 trillion to the global economy over the coming decade. 
However, last month, the investment bank issued a new report expressing concerns over the lack of a killer app, implying companies are struggling to deliver a payoff for all of the money they have spent developing AI so far. Huang's forecast for $1 trillion in data center spending over the next five years could be in jeopardy if Goldman's concerns begin to spread through the tech sector. That would directly impact demand for NVIDIA's GPUs and drive a slowdown in the company's growth. But I think there is another reason NVIDIA investors should be cautious. Artificial General Intelligence AG, describes the moment when AI matches human intelligence in most cognitive tasks. Some researchers, including one who worked for ChatGPT creator OpenAI, believe AGI could be achieved as soon as 2027 based on the rapid pace of development right now. Developing AI beyond the point of AGI could yield diminishing returns because the number of commercial workloads that could benefit from such a high degree of machine intelligence is probably very small. If that's the case, demand for NVIDIA's GPUs could plummet because the number of developers who want, or can afford, further performance increases will probably shrink. NVIDIA operates a fantastic business, and it's a clear-cut leader in the market for AI data center chips. But investors who buy the stock today should do so with their eyes wide open to the potential risks, because further blockbuster returns are not a given. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.